All right, guys, what is up? This is Brandon, back with Brandon Coin. Just doing a small video here. Uh, I'm going to be comparing the miner, uh, the EWBF miner that NiceHash uses to the uh, DSTM or DTSM miner. Um, I'm running the older version of NiceHash Miner Legacy 1.8.1.6. There is a new update. Well, it's not new. It's actually been out for a while. 1.8.1.8. And basically the biggest thing is it adds that DTSM miner or DSTM. I don't know what it is. But um, right now, these are my overclocks. 129 core, 131 memory, 91 on the power, 76 on the fan. And I'm pulling on 5 GTX 1052 gigs right at... It's been jumping between 750 to 770 sols on Equihash with this miner. So we'll switch it over to the other miner on Equihash after we update it. So let's go ahead and stop these right here. We'll click this to download it. The new miner. <laughs> download the new miner. Right there. Yep. We down we are we are downloading right now. in folder why are we not showing show me show me there it is okay so we'll go ahead and extract all extract we will close this out and I need to make me a new shortcut create a shortcut and this one's going to be called nice hash miner legacy new i don't i don't yeah so we'll drag that out here and the system is running a little slow we'll close this one out We'll fire this one up and see what we are working with. I accept. I agree. Oh, I actually need to open my old one to get my uh, wallet address. Let's see here. Just bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. Alright, let's copy that. Close that out. Okay, so it's downloading the miners because this is the first time it's open the 1.8.1.8. Uh, I'm going to set it just to benchmark the DSTM or, or is it DTSM? I'm about to find out. I'm about to find out. I've been saying it wrong at least one one of the ways so far now. Um, everybody says, oh, you get a jump in sols. It'll make more money. So if I... If it jumps in sols, like 10 sols a card, that'll push me up into that 800 sols range. I've never seen 800 sols on 5 GTX 1050s, ever. So normally I'm always just floating in the, the low to mid 700s. So I'll be stoked if, if, if it gives me 10 sols extra per card, that, that, that'll push me right over the edge. So let's see, let's see. Alright, we're gonna change oh we're down we're downloading more miners. More miners. What we got right here. Um over at the Discord. Oh crap, I've had Discord open, so there's been a bunch of beeping going on in the background. Uh I did want to show y'all while it's downloading those miners. The GTX ten fifties are on sale right now. It's been a while since anything's been on sale. Normally it's like, oh, it's in stock, but no, if you look, $134 for these 1052 gigs. Normally 150 bucks. they come in stock February 22nd. These are only the single fan models, so these are not the exact models I'm running. But for that price, and these things make like, I think today, let's see, what were they making? They were making 87 cents a day today. Which today is not necessarily a good a good day for them, but we'll say 134 divided by point 
what did we say, 87? It's 154 days payoff, and today's a bad mining day. So if we get back to that, you know, dollar a day, it'll pay itself off in 130 days. If it give, if it creeps up over a dollar a day, you know, say one a dollar ten. So we got 134 divided by a dollar ten. You know, almost, it's getting close to that 100 day payoff return on investment rate. So not not a bad deal. I don't know if they're any good though. So that's that's the only the caveat. Might buy one to try it out. Benchmark. Oh, we need to turn all these off. Okay, that's it. The DTSM. That's what we are looking for right there. Everything else we turn off. So apparently that is the miner that you want to put your NVIDIA cards on. Sorry about this. I tried to tried to make this a quick video with no cuts and no editing, so just bear with me right now. Um, I'm a I'm a slow clicker. You know what? If you don't want to actually sit through all this, I'll and go down in the description and I'll put the difference if there is any difference. So yeah, but if you want to keep watching and bear with this bear with me on this then feel free to keep on looking all right one more we're almost there almost there there we go all right we'll throw it on quick start mining after start i'll we'll see how fast these things go on benchmark We're looking at it. I think per card it was usually about 150. So we'll see what they they come down to. I'm I'm thinking 155. Why why is it asking me about that? Get get out of here. Yeah, I'm thinking 155 per card. And it's. It's benchmarking. It's doing its thing. Gosh, this was this was supposed to be like a quick video like that, and it's turned into me just rambling on about stuff. Oh, I really didn't want to edit this video and cut out anything, but I might have to. 161 saws. No way. Okay, so while we're waiting on the next card to do that, let's do some rough math. 161 times 5. That's going to put me in the 800 saw range if it holds true for the next card. No way. That that actually would definitely be worth it. So I guess all y'all guys out there telling me to switch over to DTSM for my legacy miner are definitely on the right track now that makes me wonder what does nice hash miner 2 use because i'm i'm mining equihash on my 1060 cards does that mean they're mining on a less efficient miner food for thought so actually i have my 1060 rig up looks like okay it's mining Dagger Hashimoto and Equihash. So it's mining a little bit of everything right now. On Excavator. Uh, it's not using DTSM. Wonder if it'd be worth it to switch over to that. Put this system on, on Legacy. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Um, one of my 1060s uh, started the limp card, started actually like underproducing. So I pulled that one out of there right now. Uh, I gotta get another 1060 to throw back in there. For the meantime, just to eat up that spot, I have a 1050 Ti in there because you can't be having an empty spot in your mining rig that runs 24/7. So I threw that 1050 in there, and then here's all my 1060s. So this system's down a little bit. This system usually always made like $10 a day. It's down in the 
8 range right now. No big deal. Let's try to crank this memory up a little. Let's crank it on up to 400. See if we can squeeze some extra mega hashes on that uh, dagger hashy motor. It's not 98 right now. Oh, it's going to bust a 99. Yep, there it goes. 165 saws on the second card. What about the third card? 171 saws on the third card? What about the fourth card? Okay, it's benchmarking it. Oh my gosh, this is going to put me well into the 800. So that's going to make the profitability on the system go up quite a bit. Um, this might be worth it to actually check and turn my other Equihash miners onto Legacy instead of using Nice Ash Miner V2. Might be worth it. Food for thought. Food for thought, guys. I mean, in the future right now, when y'all are watching this, you can just scroll down to the, the description and see the difference. You don't have to actually sit here and wait. But you know what? If you sit here and wait and conversate with me, you can talk at the computer screen. 165 saws right there. Solid. Solid. But if you sit here and just, and you know, watch with me, talk to the computer screen, everybody around you wonders if you're going crazy or not. Be like, hey, Brandon, what's up? Just tell them you're Skyping. Hey, yeah, how's your mom been? Oh, she's been good. I'm losing it. It's getting late. I need to go to bed, guys. I really just want to see what this benchmark is going to do. Girlfriend's getting out of the shower. It's time to go to bed. I'm in trouble. One more. One more benchmark. One more benchmark and then we're going to bed. I will after this benchmark. Okay, there we go. We're running. You what? Of course. I will. Alright. I will grab that. We're live action right now. Live action. What are we making? Come on. Come on. Yes, this video has drug out way too long. 163. That's 677. Talking. Yeah, that was my girlfriend in there. 852 saws. No way. Alright, I just gained 100 saws on 5 cards. When we started this, what? I was in like 750 range. 700 to 750 saws. Now we're at 800 and... Okay, 48. I'm going to call it 850. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Two. Oh gosh. Whew. Sorry about that. All right, so we're looking at 843. We're dropping off a little bit, but basically 850 saws pushing this system close to $5 a day. Why is it dropping back? 839. Are we losing some of our saws? But just to give y'all a little heads up, like this system never made more than um, 800 saws on the other miner. So definitely, if you're running Nice Hash Miner Legacy. If you're, mining, if you're mining Equihash, turn off your other Equihash and leave it as, what was it? DTSM. So DTSM is the Equihash miner of choice. So, I'm, you know what? I'm calling that 850 saws. $4.92 a day. Hold on. 4.92 divided by 5. We're looking at 98 cents a day on these cards right now. That That is where it's at. And you know what? I could probably crank that core clock up a little bit, but I like to keep my cards super stable, and I'd rather have a mild overclock and let them run all day long than have an overclock that's on the edge, and then all of a sudden it crashes. Because I work a full-time job. Of course, I don't mind full-time, so I can't exactly just run back home and turn them back on. But I'm going to let this thing do what it do, and I will see you all tomorrow on the next Daily Mining Nice Hash video, or not Daily Mining News video. So... Adios. Thank you for watching. I'm out.